it's a Sunday afternoon ACC matchup inside Castle Coliseum. This afternoon, the number 16 team in the country, the Knowles of Florida State, travel to take on the Virginia Tech Hokies. A lot at stake, and it should be a good one here on the ACC Network Extra. And with that, we say hello. Join alongside Jake Lawrence. I'm Braden Shank. So glad you can be with us. Jake, two teams that both lost on Friday trying to get back in the win column. Yeah, really unexpected upset for Florida State at University of Virginia. They lost in three and really looked out of sorts. Going to try and get back on track today against a Virginia Tech team that got handled by Miami on Friday night. The Seminoles have the reigning ACC Player of the Year, and Audrey Koenig looking to get her team fired up. Yeah, Ko Koenig really does it all for, for, for Florida State. Uh, she's going to be their primary terminator. She's going to play back row, attack out of the back row, score on the right side and the left side. Reigning ACC Player of the Year for a reason, Brady. And on the Virginia Tech side of things, they've got a solid attacker in the freshman belt, Patrick, who will look to get her team the first ACC win of the season. Yeah, Patrick is really the emotional leader out on the court for Virginia Tech, and they're going to need her to lead offensively as well. Uh, she is really starting to come into her own as conference play begins. The offense has struggled for Virginia Tech, and Patrick needs to be a big part of it if they're going to be able to compete tonight against the Seminoles. Again, both of these teams coming off of a loss on Friday night. We mentioned Florida State, Virginia, but Jake, Virginia Tech, Miami wasn't necessarily close according to the stats. Yeah, the, the thing that really stands out for me is Virginia Tech almost got doubled up in terms of kills against Miami. They're just not scoring enough points. Miami came in and played very well. You average over 15 kills a set. You're going to win a lot of matches. But a lot of those sets were close early, and if Virginia Tech can just find a way to, to generate some more points out of side out, service even, transition, I, I think that they're going to be uh, a little more competitive today. On the Virginia Tech sideline, it's the fifth year head coach Marcy Byers leading her team, former Radford head coach. Oh, coaching this team, that's six and seven thus far. But you go to the other side, Jake, and you have the 17th year head coach, Chris Poole, who's one of the best active head coaches in the country. Yeah, Chris Poole's been doing it forever, you know, coming from Arkansas, Florida State. You know, he's been to a Final Four in 2011 with the Seminoles down in San Antonio. I think he's really got a team that can put it together and make a deep run in December. Florida State and Virginia Tech were underway on this Sunday afternoon in Castle Coliseum. First swing and a kill for...